How's it going, salty dogs? So, uh, this trip is from Monday, June 8th, 2020. And I've got my buddy Haas from my old job on the boat again today. And we started the day fluking in Greenport and the target of this trip is fluke make no mistake and here you see us in the Peconic Bay and we're catching sea robins and bluefish and everything but a fluke I had two beautiful keeper fluke the Friday before on June 5th and the bay fluking has been so painfully slow this year. I have not had much success uh, from May 8th until the present day that you're watching right now. I'd only landed four, four keepers in the bay up until this point. So um, I made the decision at 9 a.m. to run to Montauk. And we arrived there at 10.30 a.m. And uh, here we are straight away into the action. We got on a great pile of fluke down the beach in uh, 40 to 50 feet. And we had pretty much nonstop action for about two and a half to three hours. And I'm including... There's my first keeper of the day at 20 inches, beautiful fish. And I'm including all of the catch footage from all of the undersized fish that we threw back. At least all those the camera could see. Uh, just to give you an idea of how many fluke were present and how good the action was. Just wish... Could have gotten a few more keepers in the mix, but uh, stay tuned and watch. And by the way, if you like this video, please give it a like and share it. And please subscribe to this channel, Ken Westerfeld Fishing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. And so uh, the outfit that I'm using today is a uh, M3 Tackle Spoon Rod. And I love it for both jigging and uh, working spoons. I didn't drop a spoon today. I could have. Maybe I should have. Um, but the jigging was pretty much on fire. It was working steady and straight without... Uh, really any negative incidents so uh, I saw no reason to change what I was doing and Haas was rigged the same way we were fishing four ounce backwater baits uh, Ken Westerfeld swing hook bucktails and I believe those were in uh, white and glow colors and uh, possibly pink and glow color. Um, also, uh, I was using a geezer's teaser in white. And I had a 6-inch Berkeley Power Grub on the bottom and a 4-inch on the geezer's teaser on top. So it was just a general, generic fluke jigging rig, uh, bucktail on the bottom, dropper loop, and a high hook. And it was working like nobody's business. Um, Haas actually had a backwater baits poison tail quarter ounce in white and glow on his top hook. And you don't see Haas catching as many fish in this video because of the camera angle I must apologize for that but um, yeah my big body is blocking a lot of what's going on with Haas and uh, 
we miss a lot of uh, his catch footage, unfortunately. I have to do something to correct that in the future. Uh, yeah, so on my M3 Tackle Fluke Spoon Rod, uh, on this particular one, I have a Quantum Accurist in a matching uh, Chartreuse Electric Green, as you see. And uh, I've got it spooled up with 10 pound test suffix 832 braided line. And uh, there's keeper number two at 19 inches.
a suitor. Got a nice one. How you doing? Oh yeah, baby. Jersey and Connecticut can keep these beauties and we in New York still can't keep them for at least two more weeks. So that's a wrap folks. We had a great day in Montauk. Uh, it only lasted until the end of the incoming tide. We had the north wind together kind of helping that incoming tide made the conditions perfect great drift conditions beautiful flat ocean uh, once the tide slacked up the fish really kind of stopped biting for us we relocated hoping to get on a bite find some moving water it wasn't meant to be the uh, wind swung around out of the south and the outgoing tide started up and things started getting bumpy and then it was time to go home. We really couldn't get another bite at that point and there was no sense in beating that dead horse. So um, we elected to head home with uh, better conditions hopefully before it got worse. And you always have to think about safety, especially when you have a long run like that. So thanks for joining us once again. Tight lines to all. Please stay healthy and well. And we shall see you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.